as we mentioned in the overview of uh, the drop shot, that it's a resurgence in the drop shot. And there's, there's a mental reason why people choose to, to do the drop shot, and it's called fear. And my opponent is afraid that I might drop shot so they can't play deep. But from my side, how does it affect me? Nothing's more fun than watching your opponent run for the ball. I love it. Hit a short ball and say, run, baby, run, because you're going to have to get to the ball. If I keep hitting deep to them, they like that. It's because that's what they practice all day long with their coach or with their practice partner. So for the mental side, if I can drop shot the player enough times and he's afraid of my drop shot, um, that's a huge advantage for me because I own that guy. And if enough drop shots, and pretty soon he's fatigued from running in because when he drop shots me back, if he hits the return deep, guess what I do? I lob. And now he comes in for the drop shot, run back. And that's like one of those tiring drills we do, drop shot, lob, drop shot, lob. So from the mental side of the game, think how strong I would feel if I could keep making my person run up and back. It's hard, especially in doubles, to run the person wide. There isn't much court. Even in singles, you see the pros are so quick side to side, and especially like in ladies singles, they run very well side to side. Nope, but very few of them practice running up, and especially running back for the shot. So from a strong point of view mentally, if you can own a drop shot, you can own tons of mental confidence and put fear in your opponents.